34D is here to say hello. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Hello everyone, I'm Lydia. I make sewing content, I make PDF patterns, definitely go check those out. You guys are gonna love them. Today I thought it would be cool to unbox my new serger. I have a wonderful old serger. It's a Kenmore, it's a workhorse, it's amazing, but it doesn't have the ability to do the lettuce hem, and I really want to do the lettuce hem. So I thought I would get a new one, and also I thought this would be an opportunity to show you guys a brand new serger, and it can be an option of something that you might want to get for yourself. All right, let's get started. Instruction booklet, so important. Okay, we got the front thing that catches all of the little threads and extra fabric that gets cut off. Then we've got the foot pedal and cord. Beautiful. Oh, guys, look at it. Okay, first take out this. These are a couple of supplies. This is for the spools to go on. And then some other foot, some needles, it's great. Okay, can we pull this out? Uh, uh. All right, are you guys ready for this? Put these on the opposite. This one goes here. This pulls up like that. Okay, we are in business. Let's take the thumbnail picture. Love. The first thing I want to do is get out the manual like the good girl that I am. Actually, no. First, I'm going to set up these little things because I know I have a serger, so I know that these go on the back. So, I'm just going to take these off. Do you put them all the way down? Uh-oh. This is where the handbook comes in handy but I'm being lazy and not starting with it. Okay, and then this baby goes on the front. I already know that. Does it just sit here or does it clip in? Oh, does it clip in? Okay, I don't know how that works. <laughs> Let's get the manual out. Definitely, if you are not familiar with a serger, look at this because this is gonna show you all of the parts, all the functions of your sewing machine. So yes, this does go under here. But, oh, there, it clicked in place. This is called the trim trap. Trim trimity, trim trimity, trim trim true. The trim trap is here to trap trims for you. Wow, that was actually really good. This gets plugged in. Who loves new cords? I do. I do. So I like when the cords are attached instead of separate. <clears throat> My Singer machine has separate cords. I don't know why. So this will plug in three pronged. That, ooh, that's a satisfying plug. There's a free arm on this machine. Hello, I do not have that on the other one, but it's, a free arm is so freaking essential. Free arm sewing enables tubular pieces to be sewn more easily. For free arm sewing, remove the bed extension and position the fabric as shown in the illustration. Okay. Um, it's not removing. Brother, oh brother. Come on, oh, there we go. Took it off. Check it out, people. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, we gotta get a little bit closer. Before I rethread this, let me give you a little anatomy lesson. Okay, so. This up here, it goes up and down. It's called the thread tree. This area where I can pick it up is the handle. 
This is the pressure foot adjustment screw, the spool pin right here, and this is the spool support. This is the thread take-up cover, the needles, there's two. This is the upper knife. It's the knife that cuts off the edges of the fabric or any little trims. This whole thing here that's going up and down is the presser foot. Presser foot lifting lever, the hand wheel. It moves the needle up and down. You're supposed to move it towards you, not away from you. This is the left needle thread tension dial, right needle thread tension dial, upper looper thread tension dial, lower looper thread tension dial, the main power switch and light switch. Then we're gonna take a little trip inside. Open it like this and then it can fold down. So this right here is the lower looper threading lever. So you can pull this out and then thread your piece and then put it right back in. And it just snaps in place. This one right here is the upper looper. This one is the lower looper. And then we're done with that. This gives you a diagram of where things go. And then we're back to this. This here is the free arm cover. Comes off, goes back on. This here is the stitch length. So forward to lengthen, backwards to shorten. I'm just gonna leave it at three. And then this here is the stitch width. Interesting. It's for one or two needles. So you put it up to increase stitch width and down to decrease stitch width and I think five is the default because it has a square on it. So I'm gonna leave that there. This is the knife. It can be lowered or higher. This here is the differential feed. The normal setting is one. And then if you put it up here, that means it's gonna get fed in faster than it sews. And this is good for like really stretchy fabric. If it's down here, it's gonna get fed in slower. I didn't know at the time, but the smallest differential feed setting aids with something like a lettuce hem where you want to stretch the fabric as it sews. I have some shorts on differential feed, so feel free to check them out on my channel for further detail. This whole section is on threading and I just want to understand this machine for threading. This is a very important section to read, so make sure that you spend some time just reading through your threaded section and understanding how it's threaded. So I'm gonna just read this, have some like nice reading. I should get myself a cup of tea or something. This is nice, this is cozy. Actually, I'm not really cozy in this corner here, but this is what we do for YouTube, okay? So, bye. When threading, we need to start by raising the thread tree to its highest point. Then we're going to turn the lever until the needle is at its highest point. So you can see here the needle moving to its highest point. So we got it at its highest point. When threading, you first thread the upper looper, then lower looper, then the right thread, then the left thread. And that is the rule for threading according to the handbook. So what I usually like to do when threading is cut these threads off near the spool, put on my new spools, tie them off, and pull them through the entire thing. But for the sake of threading this from scratch and showing you how to do it and doing it with you, I'm gonna actually take them completely out and we're gonna thread it together. I'm going to snip the thread that's already sewn in, grab these top two threads and just pull them out. Pulling these out allows it to totally just unloop. So I'm gonna pull the threads out snipping them just pull them completely out we're gonna do this from scratch so first I'm gonna start with putting the spools on the back okay so I got this beautiful dark navy thread and I'm just gonna put each spool on here it goes really nice and snugly I have to thread it through the thread tree now turn this around 
and let's get started. One thing I didn't get to show you is these right here are tension release. So it releases the tension of it in there so that you can pull it through nicely. So that will really come in handy. That's not something that I have on my other machine. So I'm pretty excited about that. So the upper looper is this one right here. So we're gonna pull this and we're gonna put it through there. And then we're gonna pull it through here. I release the tension. And now I'm gonna take this open and I'm going to follow the green line. So, through five, under six, there's a green dot there showing me where to go. Over seven. And then it says to go through eight, which is this one right here. I'm gonna pull it through like so. Make sure it doesn't get caught on anything. Let me go here. That one's done. Now we're gonna go for this next one. So I'm putting it through this one this time. I'm going to note that I completely disregarded putting the thread through the metal clip, which is the first step. Do not do this, otherwise it will mess with your tension and the look of your stitch. I continue this error for the rest of the thread paths, so please keep this in mind. I will show you how I corrected it later. Pull back the tension to get it right in there. Through five. And then both of these over eight. I move this back, get it in there. Push it back. We're going through this one right here. So get my handy dandy tweezers. I need more light for goodness sakes. this through and then it says how to situate it so I'm putting it behind this I'm putting this through Get it from the back okay Now we're gonna do this one, then this one. So we've got this one first, moving that out of the way. Okay, and I'm just gonna follow the arrows. So it going up here, over here. It just goes through this little thing. And then we're going to thread the right needle. So just snip the end if it's not, if there's little Threads loose, lick it, and then I'm gonna put it through. And I got it through. Okay, pulling it. Through. Lastly, the right needle, putting it in, move that tension dial out of the way. Gonna go up through here, following the arrows, through this little hole right there. So I got it through there. And now this just has to go through the left needle hole. So you could use your tweezers for this. I just like to do it with my fingers. And then I'm gonna pull it through with the tweezers. Okay, this is threaded, my beautiful little machine. And so now I'm going to plug it in and we're gonna test it out and make sure that hopefully I threaded it perfectly and it's gonna sew perfectly. So let's try that. Plug it in, plug it in. Scrap of fabric, scrap of fabric, scrap of fabric. Okay, let's try. 
try this again. Yeah, that's not quite right. So this loop should be right at the top, but it's being pulled all the way down here. So the tension on this strings, the tension on this one is definitely too tight or something. So gotta check that out. Should like look like this. So if we look at this, that's that. Definitely not the same. And then the front is this, but I know it doesn't look that different, but it is quite a lot different. So the loops should be joining right at the top right here, but they're not. So something's clearly wrong and I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> I forgot to thread the top loopers. I only threaded it on the first one. So I put them in and it totally fixed the thread. So just make sure that you're threading it properly and that you're not missing any steps because that's the only trouble you're gonna have with a serger is when you don't thread it properly. I mean, there's other problems, but that's the main problem you're gonna have with a serger. If you thread it right, you're good to go. I'm very happy with this. It's quite a loud machine, but I'm loving it and I'm really excited to explore this machine. Okay guys, I set up my machine. I got it running. I got it working beautifully. I'm very excited to try out new things with this machine and I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!